Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Nene and welcome to Miss Nene's Art. So today I've got this really cool silicone mold. It's a cross skull. I'm going to be making this today. I'm just going to be using some chameleon powders from Less Resin. I didn't even set any particular colors out. So what you're going to see me doing here is just really ran randomly picking out colors and just, um, you know, adding it to the mold. I will leave the link to this mold and to the chameleon powders in the description. So don't forget to check the description underneath the video so you can get that link. Everything is linked in my Amazon store. So what I'm doing here really is just, just trying to figure out what color I'm gonna use. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, dust the mold with the chameleon powders. And then I'll pop back in for the next step. Okay, look at how cool that looks. I love chameleon powders because at different angles, you can see it shifting from different colors to a purple, to a blue, and then some gold, and then an olive color, um, depending on how you tilt it. Just wait till you see the finished product. It's going to be so pretty. So I'm just making sure everything is covered, making sure the mold is completely covered, and I'm going to go ahead and get the resin set up. Okay, so I decided I'm going to use black mica powder into my resin. And you're gonna see me add some black glitter to this. And I really don't know why I did that because it's completely not necessary because you're not gonna see it because of the fact that I um, dusted the mold with the chameleon powder. Um, I don't even know why I did that. That's just a waste of glitter. So don't do the, don't do what I did. Don't add the glitter unless you're using, um, if you're not going to use the, if you're not going to dust the mold because 
that the black is all that I really needed. I didn't need the glitter. That was just a waste. But anyway, still turned out good. And um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pour this black tinted resin into the mold. All right, so it's been a little more than a day, and so this is the part that I've been waiting for, the demolding. It's always the best part. Um, so let's go ahead and see how it turned out. Okay, that was super easy. No issues taking it out of the mold. The mold is still intact. It's a nice 
sturdy mold, so I wasn't really worried about that part. But you ready? You ready to see what it looks like? Ta-da! <laughs> wow, look at how cute that is. I don't even think it's cute. It's cool. That is cool. And you can see the color shift. It's shifting from purple to blue. If you can see that. I don't know if the camera is picking up on it or not, but you can see that it's turning blue when I tilt it one way, purple when I tilt it another way. The head, the skull itself, it goes from a gold to like an olive color. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I love this. And I'm going to make a ton more using all kinds of colors. So make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss that. But um, anyway, let me know what you think, how this turned out in the comments below. I love to read your feedback. And again, I will leave the link to this beautiful piece, the mold that is, in the description for you, as well as the mica powders. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And as always, I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.